Backstage at Vengeance 2006, Maria engaged in a conversation with Carlito. She expressed her belief that the people who want to be cool usually are the ones that aren't cool. And the ones that don't want to be cool are the coolest. Those who strive to be cool are often not truly cool, creating a peculiar paradox. Confused by her statement, Carlito admitted he had no idea what she was talking about. In response, Carlito asserted that nothing would be cooler than him becoming the Intercontinental Champion. Nothing at all? There's nothing on this planet that could be any. Just then, Tori walked by clad in bra and panties, making a playful request for Maria to apply baby oil on her and enlisting Carlito. Question, Carlito. Yes! Would you mind holding my puppies for just like three seconds? Or to hold her puppies, referring to her dogs. A lighthearted scene unfolded as cheesy music played, with Tori and Maria applying baby oil to each other. We're back too. Help her out. While Carlito watched it, Carlito headed towards the arena, ready to make his presence felt as the Intercontinental Championship took center stage in a spectacular triple threat mesmerizing associate Melina and the reigning champion, Shelton Benjamin. The anticipation was palpable as each competitor made their grand entrance, setting the stage for a clash of titans with the prestigious Intercontinental Championship hanging in the balance. As the bell rolled up Carlito for a near fall, setting the tone for a contest filled with rapid momentum shifts and unexpected alliances, Ben a well-executed cradle that nearly secured victory for the Caribbean cool. The in-ring chemistry among the three competitors Chris play. Amidst the chaos, Carlito re-entered the fray, delivering a springboard plancha that left both Nitro and Benjamin reeling on the outside. The high-flying maneuver not only showcased Carlito's agility but also intensified the stakes of the match. Chin leg sweep, displaying his own unique skill set. The intensity continued to escalate with Benjamin executing a salmon drop and Nitro countering with a knee to the gut. Carlito, ever the opportunist, capitalized on the moment. The ebb and flow of the match reached a crescendo as each competitor relentlessly pursued victory, hitting a backcracker on Benjamin, only to be interrupted by Nitro breaking the pinfall attempt. A pivotal moment unfolded as Nitro, demonstrating strategic brilliance, pulled Carlito out of the ring. Seizing the opportunity, Nitro covered the champion and secured the three count, etching his name in history as the new Intercontinental Champion. The celebration on the stage with Melina marked the culmination of an epic battle, while Carlito grappled with the bitter taste of an opportunity lost. The camera lingered on Carlito's disbelieving expression, capturing the raw emotion of the moment, leaving an indelible mark on the collective memory of the vengeance event. The highly anticipated WWE Championship match at Vengeance, the arena erupted with excitement as Edge, accompanied by the vivacious Lita, made his grand entrance, ready to seize the opportunity to claim the prestigious title. Edge, a Canadian hailing from Toronto, took a moment to address the crowd. An analogy between the title's location and the Stanley Cup being in North Carolina, he asserted that Canadians had played a crucial role. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as Rob Van Dam, the reigning WWE Champion and ECW Heavyweight Champion, made his entrance setting the stage for an epic clash, momentarily stunned. Each competitor displaying a mix of resilience at RVD attempting rolling thunder, prompting Edge to retreat to the outside. Undeterred, RVD launched into a baseball slide, sending Edge into the barricade, and followed up with a moonsault off the barricade, an awe-inspiring display of high-risk offense, or an impactful maneuver that left both competitors reeling. Edge continued to target RVD's back, employing a surfboard submission and a calculated backbreaker. The physical toll of the match escalated as Edge in well-timed kicks, emphasizing his determination to claim the WWE Championship. The back-and-forth nature of the contest reached its zenith, with both competitors unleashing their signature moves in pursuit of victory. A pivotal moment occurred when Lita, following Edge's instructions, introduced the championship belt into the equation. Arv a dramatic sequence unfolded, with Edge attempting a spear only to meet a steel chair positioned by Lita. RVD capitalized on Edge's misfortune, soaring from the top rope with the five-star frog splash, securing the pinfall and retaining his WWE Championship. The arena erupted in cheers as Rob Van Dam celebrated his hard-fought victory, while Edge, bloodied and battered, reflected on a valiant effort that fell short. The WWE Championship match at Vengeance had delivered a memorable spectacle, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of professional wrestling history. In a notable Raw exclusive pay-per-view, Vengeance, the women's championship remained conspicuously absent from the match lineup. Despite this, the tag team clash between D-Generation X and the Spirit Squad, as well as the showdown between Rob Van Dam and Edge, enjoyed an ample 18 minutes each. Damn DX! 
balance the event's pacing and ensure a fair allocation of time. A proposed adjustment would be to trim both D-Generation X versus the Spirit Squad at 5-minute window, providing women's champion Mickey James the opportunity to defend her title. A suggested solution for this brief but impactful women's championship defense could involve a fatal four-way match. Mickey James would square off against formidable opponents, including Candice Michelle, Tori Wilson, and Maria. This adjustment not only accommodates the women's championship into the event but also ensures a diverse and engaging showcase of talent. With this proposed reconfiguration, Vengeance would strike a more balanced chord, catering to the varied interests of the WWE Universe.